spill drill outside the BSC. This video is produced to familiarize laboratory staff on the preparedness and response procedures and to mitigate consequences arising from a potential major chemical spill in the laboratory. Alert everyone in the area. Duff PPE Leave the laboratory area for at least 30 minutes and inform the laboratory manager and the biosafety officer. Place a sign on the door indicating that there is a spill. Don't appropriate PPE and re-enter the area with your spill kit. And remember, always go as spare. Place absorbent material on the spill and cover the whole area. Pour appropriate disinfectant concentrically starting from the outside part to the center. Observe appropriate contact time. Pick up the absorbent material with the use of tongs and put it inside the yellow bag or biohazard bag. Repeat another round of cleaning until the whole area has been cleaned and dried. Put the discard bag into another discard bag or what we call the double bagging. Decontaminate waste in autoclave. Remove the signage and prepare a report. Proper waste segregation. We produce so many products and throw out so much every day that garbage and waste disposal is turning into a major ecological nightmare. Proper management of waste will reduce the risk in releasing a hazardous material to the environment. There are some points that we need to consider in proper waste segregation. The first one is the hazard level. Is it infectious or non-infectious? Second is the waste type. Is it solid, sharp, liquid, or mixed? Next is the container type and size to ensure the access of appropriate containers for each type of waste. And lastly, the color coding, which gives quick visual indication or risk associated with waste. So here's the color coding scheme which was, according to DOH, Healthcare Waste Management 3rd Edition. For the black, the type of container is trash bin or plastic bags, and the type of waste is non-infectious dry waste. For the green, the type of container is trash bin or plastic bag, and the type of waste is non-infectious wet waste. For the yellow, the type of container is plastic bag in double bagging, and the type of waste is infectious pathologic waste. For the color red, the type of container are puncture-proof container for the sharps. And lastly, for the color orange, the type of container are containers, and the type of waste are radioactive waste. 